Hi everyone and welcome to part 19 of Lesville New York Brownstones. Since the last part I went ahead and furnished these hall areas in this building so I was trying to keep with that modern and classic combo look that we've been going for in this building. So we do have the same paneling and then I just use this kind of modern striped carpet out here and other than that there's not really a whole lot in this area we just have this random plant here I really feel like there need to be a lot of decoration in here. And then downstairs it's the same thing we just have the mailboxes and then we also have this community board and i went ahead and changed the staircase to be black and white because i thought that looked a little bit better with the wallpaper and carpet and it did give this area a little bit more of a high-end modern feel i think but in this part we need to finish this bedroom up here because that is going to be it for this building so we're finally going to be done with the second brownstone we only have one left to go which i'm really happy about because as much fun as the series has been, I am ready for it to wrap up and to move on to something else. So we're just going to take care of this room in here. And then after that, I want to start off figuring out the floor plan of this building over here. Probably just the top three levels of it because last time I brought up that, I wasn't really sure what to do with the basement. And a bunch of you left these really good ideas and I'm still not exactly sure which one I'm going to go with. But I, have, I should have that figured out by the next part. So until then, we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to start here and figure out what we're going to do with the space. And then maybe we'll have some time to put down some basic furniture. We'll see how things go. But before I get to this room, there was a few, there were a few quick changes that I want to do to this bedroom up here. So Emily Nicole suggested that I place a nightlight in here, the one from, or one of the ones from Parenthood. And that I also place this robot up here with that, with that teddy bear stuffed animal. So we're going to go ahead and do those two things and then we'll move on to the bedroom. So I believe that's going to be here in wall light and uh, yeah, this is it. Oh, I think there was one. There's this one and then I think there was another one that projected, if I remember correctly. Like I think there was, there were two different ones. So let me just sort of my parenthood and see. Okay, yeah, so this is the other one. So I'm going to actually size this down because it'll fit a little bit better into this space like this. Yeah, that's really cute. I think it works better over here near the taller side or we could even stick it... Oh, this is better. Let's have it right near the bed. I think this would be... Because, I mean, I didn't really end up putting a lot over here anyway, so I think that just works out so much better. So we're going to go with... I'm kind of thinking the yellow because we've got a lot of pink over here, so I think this does help to break that up some. And let me go ahead and get that red shelf so we can more easily place that teddy bear up here. Yeah, I wanted this teddy bear right here, so we're just going to size this down once because that'll definitely help it to fit in a little bit better. And then we're going to get rid of you and then place this over here. And yeah, that actually does look a lot cuter in there. And then I just want to look at the swatches to see if there's any that work a little bit better. This one's really nice. Or we have this one. Oh, that one is really cute. It does kind of go with the other yellows that we have in this room. So I am leaning towards that one. Yeah, I think we're just going to go with this one. And I'm going to remember to save the shelf this time and bring it over here because I'm sure we're going to need it over in this room. So something I want to do in this room was actually add a couple of accent walls because we painted this, you know, we painted the, we replaced the paint color in this room, so we might as well do something like that in this room. So I was thinking we could have a navy blue accent wall on two of these sides. And I think that definitely helps to make this room look a little bit better and it goes really well with the bed. I mean, I, know, I don't know if it's very common to just match your bed spread to your wall perfectly like this, but I think it does look really nice. And I also wanted to have a TV area in this room, so I was thinking that over here... We could have a TV and then an ottoman here. So it's kind of like something that they would maybe normally watch from bed, but then there's the ottoman there. So your sibs can actually sit on that to watch the TV. So let me just find a table to put under the TV. We use this one downstairs. So I don't want to use that one again. We do have this one, which I think does work really well in the bedroom. Like we got some extra pillows here, some baskets some other knickknacks and we could probably fill this in with some other things as well. I just think it fits into the space so well. So this color of it I think looks pretty good. Yeah I actually like that one. Oh there is that one, this one, but I think this one, I feel like this because like this wood on it kind of goes with these woods so I think this one looks the best. And let's figure out if we want to use one of these TVs or not, yeah one of the wall TVs or one of these. Uh, maybe we should use the wall TV in here. Yeah, because the problem is if you use... I mean, I like doing this whole thing where you raise this up, but then it makes it, you know, makes it a problem when your Sims go to repair the TV when it breaks. So I probably should do that less than I do. So for here, we're just going to stick with this. And then let's figure out what else we want to have on here. So I'm thinking that a candle would be really good to put on here. Uh, wait, I want to go over here to lights. And just grab this candle. 
and put it on top of this. So I think that's a good spot. And then I need to figure out what else I want to put on here, but let's change this to this swatch of it. Probably some plants would be good to have on here. Like there was that, uh, we used this downstairs, I think, but we could always take this and size it down once, um, although I'm not sure about that. Oh, we could take the plants from Discover University, because I think those will look really nice. Um, either these, oh, these are cute. Yeah, let's size these down once and then have them over here. And then we can figure out something else to go in the middle, but I do want to change the swatch. I like this one, it's like a very simple white swatch. I'm kind of wanting to keep this a little bit more simple in here. So I'm thinking this, or that's actually nice as well. So I think either this or this, but I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, I am, I am just really liking that simple look. We could always go with those vases that came with Island Living because those do work really well on tables like this. So maybe one of them, it might be a little much to have two of them. Uh, yeah, we'll just size that down another time. And I think we'll have that be it because I don't really want to fill up this entire thing with clutter. I want this room to look a little bit nicer, more decorated because I know the office downstairs was an absolute mess, but I actually want the bedroom here to look a little bit nicer and a little bit more curated. So we'll go with that. Um, I think that, yeah, I think that looks fine. And we can figure out if there's anything else that we want to stick in here. So probably something that's more cosmetics like would look good in here or just something like just something that looks like it's um you know maybe something bathroom related or something along those lines that they'd want to store here or like baskets some like something similar to that something i just thought of is that we can take these towels and put them under here and just pretend that they're blankets instead so i want to see oh right they're going to try to snap up there uh yeah i think that's the only slot they're going to snap into so we should be fine now Although we're gonna need to size these down once, but I think that works really well to try to fill this in a little bit. But we're just gonna go with the white swatch of it. And I just wanna see if there's anything else that would work really well under here. Maybe that basket of toiletries item that was in here somewhere. Or we could even throw this in. You know, that I think would actually work pretty well. Like it's just an empty basket that they had stuck in here. Maybe we'll just size it down once. Yeah, I think that looks really cute. Okay, so there we go, that's taken care of. We're gonna make sure to get rid of that. And what else do we need in here? Probably some kind of standing mirror. Um, and then we could also grab a mirror for over in the dresser area while we're here. So this one was actually the one that I was thinking of for over here. Or not, Never mind. let's not do that one. Let's use this one instead because I do think the more modern look that it has is better for this bedroom, but I still wanna get a full-sized one over in this spot. So this one here is an option. Or well, we could go with the kids room stuff one, which is a little bit simpler, doesn't have the lights, but the lights are kind of cool. But I wanna look at, okay, so that has pictures on it. I'm not really sure about that. Let's take a look at this one and see if this is any better. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not really liking the brown that's on that one. And if we wanna go even more modern, we do have this. Uh, no, I feel like that's maybe a little too high-end for this bedroom. So I'm thinking this one in the black swatch is probably the best option. And then we could have a chair, like maybe a chair in this corner. And then we'll have the ottoman over in front of the bed. Oh, this one? Eh. That. Uh, no, never mind. Never mind. I don't think that really goes with the feel of this room. We do have this one. Oops. Yeah, this one is also really cute. So we could use this swatch of it or this one, or eh, I don't know about that one. I mean, the original one looks pretty nice too. Another chair we can try is that one from City Living that's very sleek and modern looking. Where is it? This one. Ooh, yeah, I like the look of that one. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this mirror because I'm just really not feeling it. And we'll put a plant over here in this corner instead. And then for a you know taller standing mirror, what we could do is use that one that was from the styler, stylist influencer career, this one here, and have it on this wall, or maybe something simpler than that. Yeah, I kind of want something that's simple. So this with this swatch, I think is good. And then for the plant, I wanted to get that really pretty, almost palm-like looking plant, this one. Yeah, I think this one, if we use the wide swatch of it, would look really nice in this corner. Maybe a size down once though. Let's see how that looks. I think it looks a bit better. 
Okay, so this is starting to come together over here. I think that works. Yeah, that definitely looks nicer than having that big standing mirror in the corner. So next we just got to figure out the ottoman for here. So we used, I know we've used the one from Vintage Glamour stuff elsewhere in this building because I think we used it downstairs. This one is an option. I uh, I don't know about that though because that's the only swatch of that looks half good. But I don't think we really need any more blue in this room. So this one is another potential that could work. But I'm not sure about that one. I mean, we could always just use this one again. I don't think that's a huge deal. Like, it actually looks kind of nice in that swatch. We could also try this one here. This one might have some swatches that looks good. That look good. That one kind of... Yeah, I, I don't know about that. So I think we're just going to stick with this one because I'm just not liking any of these others as much. But I did want to get a rug to go in this area here. So I'm thinking the one from Discovery University would look good. Because I just want a square one that's going to fit right into this space. Yeah, I think that one works pretty well. You know, it has kind of the feel. You know, even that swatch of it doesn't look half bad. But I still want to look at the others. Not that one. I want one of the, the ones that feel a little bit more fresh and modern. This one doesn't look half bad. Uh, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I'm thinking that maybe that first one was the best one. Another rug I want to try, though, is the one from Backyard Stuff, because I feel like that has some swatches that would look better in here. And I also like how it centers in here as well. All right, so we'll see what we have. So we do have this one if we want to stick with the blue theme, which actually looks really nice in here. And then this one's a little bit more neutral, which kind of goes with these walls a bit better, I guess. And then we have this one, which is, I guess, a more fun and modern pattern. So let me just see which of these three I think looks the best. I'm really liking this one. Yeah, so we're going to go with this one. And we just need to figure out some more details, like add some more stuff to these nightstands over here, and then the stuff to the dresser, and then the wall decorations, and I feel like that's going to be it. So let me just put a remote out on this end table over here. And then on the other one, I guess we'll just stick a tablet. I sometimes find it kind of hard to figure out what to put on end tables. Okay, so we put a tablet down there, so I probably shouldn't put another one up here. Yeah, sometimes like there's not really a ton of super good end table decorations, but something we could do is add in this really small plant there. Like we can just move it out a little bit. I think about there should be good. And I think we need to move that in a little bit. That's something. And I think I'll just leave it at that. Because as I said, I wanted to keep this bedroom a little bit neater. You Moving know? over here to the dresser, we can add another one of these Discover University plants on here. And other than that, maybe some folded clothes. So we're just going to search for, what was it? Lucky Man Folded Laundry was what it was. Yeah, this one. And then we can also add in maybe this. I do like raising this up and then making it look like it's sitting on top of the dresser. I always find that kind of cute. And then we could also throw this in because I don't think we had that. Yeah, we didn't have space for that out in the bed or out in the bathroom. So I think, you know, maybe instead of having this or I'll just keep that out in case I want to end up adding it anyway. But I think adding these in would look a little bit better. So we'll just position this, I'm thinking back here. And then this can go, how about in that corner? And then these can go like this. So I'll have this one kind of in front here. And then that can go here. And I just want to check to see how this placement looks. Okay, so I think what we can do is size this down and make sure it's lined up with the top of this. That should be good. And, and then it could be positioned back in here. So this can come forward a little bit more. I believe that should be fine. And then that can too. And we'll just turn it slightly like this. I think that should be good. Yeah, I don't think that's intersecting the wall or anything. So we'll just scooch this back. And then change all the colors and see what we have. You know, we could probably also throw some of those cologne or perfume decorations on here. And, oh, I wanted to pull this out because there's a, I believe there's a shelf on this that we could make it look like these magazines are sitting on. So I actually want to go and add that to those end tables. But getting back to this, I like that. And then we also have this. So I just want to see where in here we can fit these in. So that should work there. I forget, did I put this stuff in the bathroom? Okay, no, I didn't. So we're fine. And then that'll tuck in pretty nicely in here. Okay, so now we can get to the fun part and just change all the swatches. So I always like doing this where I like I place all these items 
and then I just go through and figure out the swatches and it all kind of looks like it comes together a little bit more. So how about maybe this swatch? We'll stick with that one. I'm thinking this for the shirt. And then for this, let's go with this one. And then that for that. And then I just want to stick with the whole simple theme with this one. Um, so we could go with that swatch of it. Or maybe something with a little bit more color than that. That actually looks really nice, but I want a different coloring for the plant. So that one looks nice. Uh, this one, yeah, well, let's go with this one. And then I'm going to revisit the swatch of this. I think that one actually looks a little bit better. And then we'll go with that swatch for this thing. And then this for this. Okay, so there we go. Let's just get a look at this from SimView. I mean, it's it's a little messy, I know. But it's, it's kind of like organized clutter. You know, it's old in containers. And it's old stuff that I imagine they would frequently use. So back to this. And right, I put away that shelf. I, I keep like forgetting to keep it out. But I wanted to I wanted to get it so it was raised up to this height. And we can just make it look like it's tucked into that shelf. So I'm assuming this is going to snap. And good, that's the only slot that that snaps into. And then that could just fit in there nicely. Perfect. And we'll keep the shelf out this time. And let me just look through the swatches of this and see if there's anything else that would look good. Yeah, I think that works. So I believe the, la the all we really need in this room is just the... Uh, ugh, we probably should leave that there. We'll just stick it up here. All we need is just the wall decorations. But even though we have these lights here... I feel like we need more light in the entryway. So I just want to add in a standing lamp over here. Let's try out this one right here and see if that looks any good. Okay, yeah, I think that works in there pretty well. So now to move on to the wall decorations. Oh, and something else I just realized we probably need in here is a hamper. So let me just figure out somewhere to put that and then we'll get back to figuring out the wall decorations. So we're going to sort by laundry day and then that's going to be in miscellaneous decorations, I believe. Yeah, there they are. So I do like this one. And we got a pretty good space over here to put that. Okay, so back to wall decorations. I want to see if that one painting from Moschino stuff will look good in here. Maybe if we size it down since it is a rather large painting. I think that, yeah, I think that looks pretty good in there. Yeah, it fits in the space rather nicely. But let me see what else we had. I feel like that's probably going to be our best. Yeah, I think that's our best bet for this room. And then we just got to figure out what else we want to have in here. There was that one painting from Cats and Dogs that we were using downstairs that I feel would also fit in with this very well. So I know we've used that a lot. Wait, not City Living, Cats and Dogs. I know we've already already used that a lot, but I just think it would look so good in here, especially in this swatch. But I don't know if we need anything in there. So no, that's actually too much. Um, so we could just size two of these down and fit them in here. And then just not have anything over here. Because I'm worried about it looking like it's a bit too packed in with paintings over here. Or what we could do is maybe have a few of these over here. Or size them up. Or just one of these over here. I don't know. Because I like this painting. But I'm just worrying that it's a little bit too big for the space in here. So maybe we won't go with that. And then we'll just have this over here and grab another one of these and size it down and then just go with some different swatches of it. And then I'll figure out other stuff for the other side of the room so we're not just using the same painting in, you know, everywhere that there's a painting in this room. So this one, I'm thinking that one and this one. All right, so I think that's good for this side of the room. I mean, I know this is a very good, very blue room, but I do like blue and I do like how coordinated it is. So moving over here... What do we want to use? There might be some good paintings from City Living. So let me look in there. Like, there is this one. I don't know about that, though. Because I kind of like the look. Like, for this room, I like the look of pictures with black frames. We could try using some of these underwater photos in here. So let me see how this one looks. Yeah, these actually fit in with the room really well. So I'm thinking on this side, we'll have just one like this. And then on the other side, we can, t we can size down two of these horizontal ones and just place them one on top of the other. So how about this one? Yeah, I really like how like just all the blues in this fit together. And like this room definitely has kind of a calming, serene, almost beachy feel to it, which I really like. And I don't think we're going to bother with putting anything over on this wall. I don't think it really needs it. So I feel like that's about it that we really need to have in this room. Although what if instead of having this painting here, we just use another one of these undersea photos? Uh, eh. 
Or maybe one of the taller ones like this would look better. Yeah, I think that actually looks a little bit better. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for this room. So I'm gonna move over to this building now. If there's anything that you think this room is missing, then you can feel free to let me know. We can always work on that in the next part, but I am ready to move on to the final building. So we're gonna start down here. And as I mentioned before, I wanted this whole level to just be an open plan living area where you walk in, you probably have the living room right here. And then I'm thinking we'll have the kitchen here in this area. Like we'll have the staircase, actually let me just put in a staircase to start with just so we have that in to work with. So for this one, I wanted to use one of the more modern ones like this because as I mentioned last time, I wanted this to have the look of being a very modern, like newly renovated brownstone. So actually, let me move this back one. Because what I was thinking we could do is have this area, kind of like this area in here, in front of the staircase, or you know, beside it, in front of the staircase would be the living area. And then this space in here, maybe like four tiles back would be the kitchen in here. And that would be a very large kitchen, like counters over here, counters over here big island in the middle of it and then back here could be a dining area we could have plenty of space for a nice big long table right there so i'm thinking that's going to work very well and let me just get a sliding a sliding door actually you know what since we have the space let's just have two sliding doors right next or actually let's position it so the handles are facing in since this is all just going to be the dining room i think it would work really well to have two sliding glass doors here just to let a whole bunch of light in and we also need to get some more windows down the side of the building so not right here, because I don't think we need any next to the staircase. Maybe one over here, or we could even have two over here. And then this could be where the sink is. And then we could have one right here, because that's going to be... Or we'd have two right here. Yeah, let's just do that. So that'll let a lot of light into this area. And then moving upstairs, we're going to have... Okay, so how many bedrooms are we going to make this? I think we could probably do at least four bedrooms for this house. And... Something I was considering was having the upper floor just be this massive master suite. And we can even get extra fancy in this and have some skylights up here. Because I know back in the building I was talking about, or back in the back of the, back in the beginning of the series, I was talking about having a rooftop hangout area up here. But I'm thinking I'm just going to have that be above these two buildings. And then above here can just be all devoted to this building. So we can add some skylights in and then add the kind of like ductwork looking stuff up here. I think that would be really cool just to make this building feel even more high end. But getting back to this level, let's figure out what we're going to do for the floor plan. So we can't have any bedrooms in the middle here because then we're going to run into that whole issue where they don't have any windows. So one thing I think we could do is make this area in the front here a bedroom. And we can make rather large bedrooms in this home. So we'll just start with that to begin with. And then we could probably have a couple of smaller bedrooms back here. Maybe like this. And then we need to make sure if we put a bathroom in here, we need to make sure that they can actually get to it. So we could do something like this. That way this area in here could be used for a shower tub combo. So it'll kind of be nestled back into that space. So here we have three by five tile bedrooms, which are fairly small, but I think that's like, that's definitely a good size for a kid's bedroom. So maybe these can be kid's bedrooms or a kid's bedroom and a toddler bedroom. And then this could be a teenager's bedroom. And let me just, oh right, so we actually need to get rid of this staircase. And or let me just select that first before we go deleting it. Because we have to put in the upper level staircase first. So we want to have that right here. So then now we should be able to go downstairs and put that under it. Because that's the thing, like if you want to have stacked staircases, you have to put the upper one in first. I don't know why it works like that. But if you do have a staircase where it pops up the walls under it, you have to delete the walls first. And then you can stick the staircase under it. Okay, so we got our staircase situated. I think that's a pretty good layout for this lower level. And I'm still not sure if we want to have this level be just this massive master suite. I mean, I feel like that would be very fitting of a house like this. And in the comments of the last part, Jay did bring up that they thought it would be neat if this was a, a house for a celebrity. Because they were saying that they've been watching... Um, let me check what exactly what it was that they said. So they said, lately I've been watching a lot of celebrity home tours set in New York, and a lot of them just so happen to own brownstones. So I was thinking it might be fun if the full brownstone belonged to a celebrity sim of some kind and their family. An actress slash actress could be a fun choice, 
but I also like the idea of a world-renowned best-selling author as one of the parents. So I really love that idea of this being something that belongs to a celebrity. So I feel like to go with that and just this being, as I said, super luxurious, it would make a lot of sense to just have this private upper floor master suite that's just this like, just this like little slice of paradise, you know, just something that is top of the line luxurious, maybe a little over the top. And I mean, this isn't that massive of a level. So I mean, we could even, I think we probably should still keep the, the landing area in here. Because one thought I had was that we could make it so you go through a door down here, but I don't think that's going to work out very well. So this could be the bedroom. And then this area in here could be a combined bathroom slash closet. So we could even do something like this where you walk through the wardrobe and then you go into the bathroom here. I mean, even this isn't super duper massive. So I think this was the best way to go with this level. So we could use those wardrobes from Get Famous in here and maybe have a little ottoman in the middle of it. And then you go in here and you've got a pretty nice size bathroom. I mean, especially for something that's supposed to be a New York brownstone. So I think this is going to work really well. And then I just want to see if we could get in those skylights up here. So I want to have it. I don't know if we want to have it this big where it goes. Maybe we want to pull this in a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we need to have pretty much the whole upper level be a skylight like this. And how many tiles over did this go, by the way? Okay, so this was seven tiles. Okay, so we are going to be ending here. So I'm going to drag this over once. I think that should be good. And I'm not sure if it's actually going to be... Yeah, we're having that issue. Yeah, because sometimes when you put this on, it's not actually see-through right away. So what I usually do... Uh, let me just move this roof first before we do that. So what I usually do is I just outline it like this. Oh, right. Right, we're too high up to make another another floor. We should be able to use fences though, since we did put the half wall up here. So I'll just do that and make a two by seven tile or two by two by five tile area. And then we just delete the floor of it. Okay, so that should be good. Like this, and then we just delete this. And then just delete this, and then that'll come back, and then you delete it again, then you put the roof over, and then it'll be fine. It's a little wonky like that sometimes. I think that has to do with making this an actual room rather than, cause like sometimes I do it and it's fine and I can put the see-through roof on and it'll work fine. I think it's cause there's technically already a roof on this. Like there's technically already a flat roof is maybe what it is. But there we go. We actually have the proper skylights in here. So that is great. And just to make it extra fun, we can have another one over the bathroom. So I think, how many tiles was the bathroom actually? So that was, okay, four in here. So I think if we do something like this, that should be fine. Like a two by three tile thing. I mean, that's probably not the most private. I mean, the, this like realistic, but like, realistically might not be the best idea since this is going to be like a public roof area. You know, people could just step over this and peek down on what the celebrities are doing, but eh, it's fine. It looks nice and luxurious. All right. And that should be good. So we're just going to copy this on over and get it to the right size and we should be good to go. Although I want to try a different glass roof pattern. So I do like this one. I could use this one. No, I like this one a little bit more. And I'll worry about, you know, actually, let's just deal with the trim right now. So I'm going to use this trim in the black. And I think it looks pretty good. Although, let's get some trim on the inside of that as well. So I'm just going to use this smaller black trim and hold down shift here. Because if I don't do that, then it's just going to place trim on the outside as well, which I don't want. The trim's all in place, so let's see how it looks downstairs. Yeah, that looks really nice. I always like just how the light reflects down through the skylights. So for the rest of the part, I just want to start on the lower level and figure out the flooring and wallpaper and get some of the basic furniture in. And that's probably all that I'm really going to get a chance to do. Although something I might be going to do is just get the flooring out here for the deck. I'm not going to worry about the details in this part, but I just wanted to at least get it out here so we could get a better feel for this. And we're going to use the same, whatever the same fencing I used out here was, which was this one. And yeah, we're not going to bother with a half wall over on this end because I was only separating the units. And we'll just grab that, place that there. With this building, I want to make it so the upper level has access to the backyard. So I'm probably going to actually put in staircases like I tried to do with this building at first. But we're just going to go ahead and grab this trim. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with this trim down here, although it's being rather difficult to grab. Okay, there we go. We got it. Yeah, so we'll just get that there as well. And I want to go with black for these doors because that does go with the coloring of this building a little bit better. So we'll put you in. And you know what? Because we had that whole... Um, actually, can we pull this up? Because we have this trim here, so I don't... 
Oh, we can. Although we can only pull it up that much for some reason. I think, oh, okay, this is actually a height limited column. Yeah, since we did have that whole column update that came out around Discover University, I can actually put in one column and have it extend all the way up, but that's not really going to work with this one. I know I need to figure out the window placement for these upper levels, but for now I just want to worry about the lower level, so we'll figure that out next time. So for the flooring down here, I wanted to try going for more of a light wood because I've been using a lot of darker wood so far in this build, and I just feel like it would be interesting to try going with a more modern one and to, or more light one and to work with that. So let me just get some lighting in here to start with so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. So for this building, I want to go with these more modern pod type lights. So we'll just get a few of these in here so that I can better see what I'm doing. And then let's get a look at what lighter woods we have. So we do have this one. This one could work, but I don't really like that one very much. Or we do have this. And then this one I also think has some good lighter colors like that, although that's the same flooring that we used over here. So we probably shouldn't go with that one. That's another option, or we could go with that. I actually really like how that looks. That wasn't quite what I was originally thinking about going for with this, but I do think that looks really good. No, not that one. That one looks a little bit too warm for my taste. I want to go with something that looks a little bit more high-end. I just keep going back to this one, so I think that's what we're going to stick with. And then for the wallpaper, as a start, I wanted to put this one down in the white. And I might change it up later, like add some accent walls, maybe add a brick wall or something like that. You know, actually a brick wall would probably be a good idea. So we could do that down this side. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe I think actually the other side here would work a little bit better for that. Not that brick though. What about this one? Perhaps in this swatch. That doesn't look too bad. I want something that's a little bit brighter though. Like we could use this one. That one doesn't look too bad. There's also this one, which I think looks pretty good. Uh, and then we have this one. That one's pretty nice as well. I'm just not really sure about how it goes with the flooring. And then we do have this one, which is more of a painted brick. I think that could look really good in here, like in that color or what about this swatch? I think the first one that I put up looked a little bit better. So we're just going to stick with this and I might change it later on. I'm, I'm not completely sold on that, but this part is more about just getting the gist of what we're going to do rather than worrying about all of the details. So as I mentioned, TV area is going to be in here, then catch kitchen in here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to have basement access under the staircase or not. I'm still trying to figure that out because I did go with a few of the ideas that were brought up. But it's not too time consuming to delete the staircase and then put it all back in. So I think it probably would be good to just save a space in here for getting down to the basement. So we'll actually take away this window. And then let me just get the kitchen counters in because I feel like that's going to be a thing that really dictates what we do with the space. So for this kitchen, I wanted to try using these counters here. And we'll just have three of them over on this side to save that space right there to go down the stairs. And then over on this side, we'll have four. And this is six tiles wide, so we have plenty of space for a rather large island in here. And then we'll have the fridge right there. So let me just get that. Yeah, I mean, things are probably going to be a bit of a, looking like a bit of a mess at the end of this part. But that's fine. As I said, I'm just trying to get an idea. And then we could have maybe two wide like that. And then they could be rounded like this. That might be a bit much. But it could work, you know, this this all is obviously going to have to be adjusted a little bit. You know, I think the thing that's going to look better is getting rid of these and just centering it like this. Because I think it's a little bit too wide. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Okay, so let me just kind of get a picture of this. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks like that could work. You know, it'll look better. Um, although now I'm not so sure about this wall. So, you know, we're just going to color over this. And I'll just figure out for sure what we're going to do with that next time. But I think this space works well for the kitchen. And then let's get an idea of what kind of couch we want to use in here. This one from Island Living could look nice. It's got a pretty modern feel to it. Yeah, I mean, especially if you put it in this color. So that's potential. There's also this one right here. But I don't really use this couch as much, so I want to see if we can maybe work with this. 
So we're gonna have one here like this. Uh, it might break up the space if we, a bit if we do this, but I think that kind of marks up the space a little better. I, I know this looks awful right now, but don't worry. It'll, it'll look better in the end, I'm sure. And then we could have a couple of the chairs that match it in here on the other side, and maybe like an accent table right there, and then the TV can go right here. I feel like that'll look nice. I'm definitely gonna go with a color other than the white though, because I think this room definitely needs more of a splash of color than that. Like even this one would look really nice. Okay, so we got those. And let's look and see what tables would look good to put the TV on. Ooh, this marble one might look good in here. And then above that, we can get that really big screen TV. Yeah, that is for sure fitting of an apartment like this, like this curved screen one. Well, I think that's gonna be it for figuring out the living room. And then for over here, as I said, nice, big, long, fancy dining room table. So there was the one from City Living that I think has the right feel for this building. I'm really not completely feeling this kitchen area, so if we're ending the part, I think we're just gonna get this straightened out a little bit more so I feel better about this whole area, because yeah, I'm not, I just don't think these cabinets really work the best. I want something that just feels even more sleek and modern. So we could try these ones. Or there were the base game ones, not these ones. This, These ones right here. So I'm thinking I wanna try making the kitchen white. So let's just go with this as a start and see how it looks. And I was just looking at a picture of a modern brownstone kitchen for inspiration. And something I saw was that instead of having counters over here, they actually had floor to ceiling cabinets. So that might be something that works well for the spot over here. So let me, try, let me just try doing that. And that does mean that we're gonna have to get rid of this window, but I think that's fine. The only problem is the lighting is a little bit different on these cabinets. Uh, so maybe, yeah, that's actually not a ton of counter space over there. So I think just sticking with the idea of having it be counters works a bit better. So we'll just get this over here. And then instead of having the rounded corners on this, I think it might work better if we just keep it a little bit more square and then we can have a nice island sink in there. I think that'll work pretty well. We could also use these ones. Okay, yeah, those are gonna look a lot better. The only problem is they don't have matching cabinets, but I believe the Cool Kitchen Stuff ones work pretty well, so we'll figure out something to make it all work. I think that's gonna be all that I do in this part. So next time we'll, of course, figure out all the details for this area right here. And you all can, of course, let me know what you think of what I've done so far with this area and where you think things should go and what suggestions you have for what I could do. But that's gonna be it, so if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and bye.